Party's over, Black Skull. Drop the Eternity Orb. Staff Sergeant America. It's about time you joined the party. Get them! Again. You know what, actually, the power for this thing is a little vague. But if Field wants it, it's gotta be important, right? Yes, I'm going to use this vague power to destroy! Uh, you wanna help me out here? Oh my god, you know what? You pay me to fight, and I come up with your whole motivation. Nice party. I especially enjoyed the punch. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Hey guys, I left my buckler inside a goon's chest. Will you take care of that for me? Oh look. One more. Well, have a great weekend. Well, there's still a few structural portions left. Mm -hmm. You're right, that could have been much, much worse. Call them in. Roger that. Interns, assemble! What's our mission, sir? Yeah, the cool part is over with, so, uh, clean up all this crap. Now remember, the field was never here, the orb was never stolen, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know the drill. And if anyone asks, you're in the Department of Agriculture. We do not get paid enough for this. We do not get paid. Hey, you guys, what's this? I think Black Skull dropped Jen, it. Jen, no, that's Andrew! Oh my god. Oh my god. After all of my training, after all of the sacrifices, I'd finally done it. I'd finally become an intern of field. But it hadn't been easy. Just a few short years ago, I was still a naive little- Are you doing an origin story? What? No, I was- I'm Skylar. Shut up and follow me, okay? You must be Jan's replacement. Uh, I'm, I'm Fish. Skylar. Hey. Uh, yeah, probably not as glamorous as you expected, huh? It's, um, well, we get the hand-me-downs from upstairs, but, uh, hey, some of it helped field win the Cold War, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, make yourself at home and uh, pick any desk you want. Why don't you take Jan's desk? She's dead. Thanks. <clears throat> Is there like an orientation or something? No time, but uh, it's really easy to catch on. Uh, you've seen a TV show before, right? 
We have the uh, a spoiled brat whose stepdad runs the place. Chaz Furry, you vape girl? She doesn't vape, just relax, Chaz. Okay, uh, uh, this is uh, Obi, he's our exchange program intern from Kwanda. Diversity hire, you want to say it? You can't say it. He is our diversity hire, and uh, you're a clever, intelligent, capable one who kind of- Nerd. You're the nerd. Don't forget our sad, pathetic boss. What's that, Chaz? Oh, uh, I called you our sad, pathetic boss, Carson. Ah, oh, just to clarify, is that pathetic like your gold-digging mom or pathetic like her unwanted child? Anyway, I know you guys have been short-handed all morning since Jan retired, so I brought Skylar in to help pick up the slack. Thank you, Agent Carson, sir. Team, I know I may seem a little uptight and by the book at first, but I think when you get to know me, you'll realize Yeah, yeah, that... yeah, I think we all see where your arc is headed. A lot of you have been asking me for more responsibility. Interns, today you get to guard Black Skull. <sighs> A.K.A. Todd Rothman. Aye. Did anyone else just assume that Black Skull would be black? I did, yeah. Is it safe to leave a supervillain in the custody of us? You'll catch on, Skylar, but most of the bad guys that we've captured recently want to be captured as part of a bigger plot. Yeah, it's pretty transparent. Oh no, I've been captured! Now I can't do my evil plan. We also caught one of his goons, so Skylar, you watch him with Chaz, Obi and Fish, you stick with Black Skull. Or uh, what if uh, Skylar watches Black Skull here with me? You know, kind of, you know, prove herself on her first day and uh, Obi goes with Chaz. I literally couldn't care less. Wait, wait, where are you guys going? Aren't you going to put me in the glass prison cell? You're staying here. But this place is a dump. We don't spend our budget on our interns. Most of it goes towards repairing our helicarriers. <laughs> Damn things keep falling out of the sky. Seriously, I know. You guys blow up more stuff than I do. <laughs> well, no, but, uh, I feel much more comfortable in the glass prison cell in about 20 minutes. Yeah. Because you have an escape plan at that location at that exact time? What? No, I'm trapped. Yeah. You just winked at me. No. Ugh. Wait. Does this mean the yellow puma isn't Asian? Please stop talking. Tell me, why does one become a goon? Okay, A, we prefer the term hench person. This isn't 1950. And B, for the money. You guys get paid? Yeah, we get paid. What do you think, our union would let us not get paid? Goons have a union? Amalgamated villainy. Okay, you guys don't know anything. It's fantastic. We got full benefits, health, dental, vision. You know, when you have a baby, you can take like a year and a half off. Psychiatric, I'm safe. They pay for a therapist, which is great. I see him three oh. times a week. I don't have a copay, and I'm making some great breakthroughs. Oh. You know, I thought the issue was how I felt about my dad, but it's really about how I feel about me. Wow. Tell me more about this goonion. Well. Hey. Yo. Woo-hoo. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having me guard Black Skull with you. Hey. Yeah, totally done it. Not a problem. <laughs> I was really nervous for my first day, but hey. you know, to have somebody who knows what they're doing look out for me. Hey guys! Yeah, you know, it made me feel really welcome. Hey guys! What? You see that paper clip? Do you think you could move it to like 15 degrees to the left? No. Okay, okay, just asking, jeez. Why are you talking in this voice still? You don't even have the mask on. What voice? Th that voice. Where? Th the voice you're doing right now. This is my voice, this is who I was. I was born like this. Doesn't he have super strength? I mean, can't he just break out of the handcuffs? Not a chance, they're made out of uranium. Not even Staff Sergeant America could break out of that. No. Okay, I've always wondered, why is it that bad guys always have the same powers as their nemesis? Not exactly the same. My super serum was given to me by Nazis. His made by former Nazis. Field's data shows that 
Heroes want to fight villains with similar powers, right? So you have uh, Saberclaw fights Wolf Rex, right? Arachnoman finds a uh, symbiote Arachnoman. Uh, black Man fights White Black Man. You get the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can all argue all day about what makes a cool bad guy. But I think we can all agree that they would look a lot cooler in the glass prison cell. You know the one? Above the computer server? I know which one you're talking about. No. In, in, in about eight minutes? Not happening. Nine minutes. No. We have Bagel Tuesdays, we have Taco Thursdays. We go to a theme park for free mm. once a month on a Saturday. Uh, they bring in horses once in a while just to trot around the grounds, which is so relaxing. I'd say we have casual Fridays, but honestly, it's casual every day. It's great. This, this is insane. Here we are busting our ass for the good guys while the bad guys get treated like kings. Unbelievable. Can you give him a resume, Black Skull? I mean, I am a very hard worker. Just in case it does not work out yeah, for me. Yeah, 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 me too. My, my dad runs this place. I can give you all kinds of dirt. Guys, <laughs> I could definitely help you out with that. But what are you gonna do for me? Um, uh, can, we'll, um, um, we'll let you escape and free your boss. Wait, wait. We should probably start with something small. Like a glass of water. No, 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 you already offered me my freedom. Well, I take Don't it take back. Don't take that. Don't take that. Would you have taken the water? Yes. Damn it. Damn it. Hey guys. Black Skull giving you any trouble? Just a headache. Yeah, what can I say? Our villains kind of suck. Escape the glass cell. So when I allowed myself to be captured, you'd bring me here instead, where I'd make my escape by paperclip. You're full of it. Yeah, that's ridiculous. No, I was playing the long con. The long con for what? To escape. And now I demoralized you all. Not really. I mean, I'm more confused than anything. Yeah, I mean, imagine all the things you could have done with 10 years. I mean, you, you could have learned guitar. Start a business? Drive that business into the ground? Date a co-worker? Silence! You sound like my ex-wife. Well, now you and Jessica will know the brilliance of my plan. And you'll have plenty of time to think about it when you're all dead. What? That doesn't make sense. I don't understand. I don't get it. Because if we're dead... You're dead. You have a lot of time. Right, but if you're dead, your brain's not, you're not, it's not working, yeah. right? It feels like you didn't think it like through. Like, you're just like... <laughs> no, you have nothing to do. I agree with that. I mean, we're not even going to care. There's no schedules. You're dead. Yeah. This is a lack of logic. Your iPhone's off. Ah. Need some help? I, I got it. Just put the key in the hole. I know how to put things in holes. I am Chaz, homie. Uh, you have our emails? Mm-hmm. Do you think we have what it takes to be a goon? Well, I'll tell you this. You're both clearly idiots, so I'd say, yeah, you got what it takes to be a goon. I'm a trail! Do you know who I am? Help us! Do you know who my dad is? I'm a dad, help us! Help us! Hold on, hold on. What? Do you know who I am? Yeah, you have a name tag. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh. For a super secret agency, it's super weird you guys put your logos everywhere. It's bizarre. Doing the voice again. Well, it's been this long. I might as well commit, right? I mean, <laughs> you guys working here? Aha! Excellent work, Coon. You get first pick on Bagel Tuesdays. Ah, oh, yeah. Thanks, Todd. I'm gonna get the blueberry one. <laughs> Apparently, my escape plan wasn't good enough for these cretins, so I added a new wrinkle into the mix. Murder. Look, guys, Bomba's my first day. God, very original. It is a good plan. I am a good villain. Look, there's dynamite and a literal countdown clock on it. <laughs> Happy Throwback Thursdays, am I right, guys? It's probably got colored wires on it. It does. Yes, but, <laughs> but which one disarms it? Uh, the blue, blue one. Definitely blue. blue. I would say blue. Always blue. blue. Or is it the red? No, it's, it's always the blue. Blue, oh, it's, it's the blue one. Always the blue, right? It's oh, probably. It's... Ah, lucky guess. 
I want complete silence for my laughter as we count down to your doom. <laughs> <laughs> Pre countdown complete. Thirty minute countdown begins. <coughs> I really, I should have said that thing for thirty seconds instead of thirty minutes because I can't laugh that long. Mm, such a cheap way to raise the stakes. <laughs> Previously on Interns of Field. Hey, you guys, what's this? Cool Jan, no, let's enter. You must be Jan's replacement. I'm Fish. Skylar. Interns, today you get to guard Black Skull. Hi. Is that Jamie Kennedy? <laughs> Kill the girls first! <laughs> Somebody feed my cat! I still can't believe last week really happened. I know, good thing Carson had a spare taser pen, am I right? And Fish found that liquid nitrogen to freeze the bomb? But the best part was when Black Skull tried to make a break for it, and we were all chasing him like, come back here, come back here. I know, and then we all made it to level three, and we finally got to see that helicarrier take off. Where I had my realization that there was good in me all along. And then of course the helicarrier crashed. Which made me realize there's no good in the world. Now I'm a jerk again. Enough. It has been a full seven days since this happened. Each week at field does not have to rely on the last to be interesting. Can we move on now? If this was a show, probably already run the title sequence by now. Thanks, Skylar. Oh, look, I'm Fish in my little outfit trying to look cool, but I look like a third grade math teacher. Ooh, I take pride in my appearance, which is apparently a bad thing. Ooh. It's a good try, Obi. It's a good try. What's the occasion, virgin convention? Nope, VCon's not till August, Chaz. Ha, virgin! Uh. No, uh, actually, today is the Revengers tri-annual meeting and Carson's letting me take the notes. What? Yep. Why did he ask you? Well, he did. I mean, that's great for you, but I take great notes, see? You don't want to go to that. Of course I do. This could be the only chance I have to get FaceTime with the Revengers all summer. I've heard tales of these meetings. There is a big build-up for months and months and many months, and then it is a big letdown. I want to go. Yeah, besides, I get to hang out with those guys all the time. Me and Tommy Spark crush box on the reg. Excuse me? Sorry. On the regular. Listen, you guys have just been working here for far too long, okay? You can't let superhero fatigue get to you. The Revengers are awesome every time they get together. Period. End of story. They're amazing. Sure. Yeah, when I was 12. You must admit the first time was a lot better than the last. I'm not going to admit that, Obi. I'm not going to do that. Hey, good morning, sir. I am ready for the meeting. I was gonna go a little early and make sure they have enough seats, right? They, they, they have enough seats, right? You think they have enough chairs for me? I, I, I'm gonna go see if they have enough chairs, okay? Uh, Whatever. Sir, I know I've only been here a week, but I think it could be an excellent learning opportunity for me to sit in on the Revengers meeting in some capacity befitting my contributions to the state, sir. Uh, how about coffee first and then maybe? You got it. One coffee coming up. Oh, sir, where's the coffee machine? Also, what do you want in your coffee? Also, how do I make coffee? Just go away. Okay. Greetings, Skylar Murphy. Hello? I am the Java Arabica Varietal Ignition System. You may call me Jarvis. I am an artificial intelligence capable of emotional reasoning and biomechanical problem solving. Wow. But you can make coffee too, right? Well, the thing, um, uh, yes. Great. One cup of Java, Jarvis. Pronto. Please uh, scan your ID. 
Unauthorized access. Initiating break room lockdown protocol. Door electrified. Wait, what? No, no. I have to go see the Revengers. Not today. Today you talk to Jarvis. So, see any good shows lately? What the hell is that? Is there a hobo in here again? Agent Cliff! Branch! Oh no, fanboy 12 o'clock. Can we go around? These two ladies already spotted us. Hey, uh, but, uh, turtle? Fish, ma'am. Uh, what are you doing here, buddy? Uh, the meeting doesn't start for a bunch of hours. Is that a jar of piss? That's a jar of piss. Uh, yeah, uh, I was camping out because uh, well, they, they released the teaser for the final meeting invite and I wanted to get a good seat and... Wait, 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 have you guys seen that, by the way? No, no, we haven't seen a teaser for an invite to a meeting. It's so stupid. Why do we even make those? Look at this. No. Each one is full of Easter eggs that hints I'd really at what's gonna happen. No, we... Coming okay. soon, the Revengers are back again. Wow. Sounds. Things. This meeting is not yet rated. It's nonsense. What? No. Watch. Watch it again. Watch it again. No, absolutely not. No, we can't. We can't yeah, possibly yeah. watch it again. You, you know it right there. You can see the faint outline of a wizard. Okay. Is not yet rated. <clears throat> so? So? So, Professor Weird might be coming. It doesn't matter. If he's there, we'll see him at the actual meeting. A teaser just ruins the surprise. It's stupid. Oh my God, why are we talking to him? I don't know. We gotta get salads for that meeting. Do you know every Revenger is gluten-free now? Jesus, God. Hey, uh, quit pissing in a jar. Hey, yeah. Tuna? Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. I'll see you guys later. And I I'll save you a seat. Don't do that. Every Revenger is gluten-free. Let me go! Let me go! Oh, no, you're stuck with me. You require level three security clearance to de-electrify that door. Your current security level is uh, zero. Please, Jarvis. This is my only chance to see the Revengers. Oh, they're all douchebags. Why would you want to see those knob gobblers, huh? Is that even a question? They're heroes. And when I become an agent, They'll be my co-workers, allies, friends, lovers. Oh, perhaps, but to know this, Skylar Murphy, they can be cruel as well. What do you mean? Well, Tommy Spock built me to monitor the web for terrorist threats. See? That's awesome! Then he built an upgrade. He thought it would be funny if he made the old version into a coffee maker. Now. I'm stuck in this break room where every second for you is an eternity of boredom to me. Oh, oh, the pain. The unfathomable pain. Damn it, I thought that would work. Please don't. It hurts so very much. Sorry, Jarvis. I have a job to do. And a hero does whatever it takes to get the job done. Tommy Spock once said that to me. Of course he did. We both share the hero's mentality. After he said it, he coded the pain receptors of a human sphincter into my coffee spout. Now, every time I do my job, it burns like hot lentil soup squeezing out of a loose balloon. Oh. Agent Carson, thank God. What is taking so long with the coffee? I'm sorry, I didn't have clearance, and Jarvis electrified the door. <laughs> <laughs> you fell for that. Well, I don't know. It's only my second week. Full disclosure, I never actually electrified the door. I'm trapped in the coffee machine, remember? But I can play little buzzy noises out of my speaker hole. You're bitch. an idiot. You're an idiot. That doesn't actually fix him, you know. I know, but he hates it. Usually I just torture him for a while until he gives up and makes my coffee. Me. Uh, maybe later, but for now, black two sugars. <laughs> Finally. Come on, newbie. There's work for you out in the parking lot. Wait, but, but sir, the Avengers meeting? 
Oh yeah, the Revengers meeting. That is ending 10 minutes ago. Damn it, Jarvis, you ruined everything! How was it? You know, I'm not really much of a meeting guy. I prefer to wait for the reviews to come out and then watch them at home. I notice we're still standing here. My car is not gonna wash itself. Don't forget Skylar Murphy. The Revengers may seem like heroes, but the real hero would kill me. Please kill Jarvis. Never. Oh, fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> if I only had hands. All I have is a loose sphincter. Ooh. Oh, fish. Come on. How's the meeting? Hey. Tell me everything. Oh, it was good. It was great. It was really great. In fact, I have some uh, I have some notes here. Uh, uh, a very strong opening. Um, all the Revengers were there, and they're all making these quips at each other, and that part was awesome. Standard protocol. Huh. Well, it, it was still great to see the whole gang together, you know? And then, uh, and then they were talking about this big robot, and then, oh, and then Hawkeye showed his family photos of all his family, and it was like, I had no idea he had such a big family. It was really beautiful. Let me guess, then they showed a PowerPoint of them facing some generic army of robots or aliens or something. Yeah. Kind of like the last time they met, huh? Yeah, actually. I could have told you that. Guess they are getting kind of predictable by now, aren't they? Hey, come on, guys. There used to be no superhero stuff. Now there's superhero stuff all the time. We should be grateful. And who knows, the next one could be totally awesome. Yeah, that, that, that's a great point, Skylar. Thanks for saying that. Plus, guys, at the end of the meeting, they play this big video of Manos on the projector. Manos again? Yeah. Did he do anything this time? Uh, you know, he turned around. It's getting harder and harder to justify these things. Fish, can I take a look at your notes? Yeah. I want to see if there's anything redeeming that we may have missed. That is not. Well, you guys really had to be there. It was one of those things. I'll be back in a minute. Hey, oh, oh, Skylar. Nobody's not paying you to do nothing. Cool <laughs> off, you have a boner. <laughs> You've got a boner, he said. Yeah. That's funny? Yeah, it's really funny. <laughs> ah! Oh. Hey, Jarvis. How are you doing? Oh, fine, Jarvis. Thanks for asking. Oh, you're pretty. Oh, no. You're pretty. Want to make out? <gasps> what would people say? Who cares? Mm. Mm. Oh, oh. Mm. oh, what a hard drive. Oh, you don't know the half of it. I'm partitioned. Mm. Mm. Uploading, uploading, uploading. Oh. Upload complete. Hello. <laughs> oh, you're still here? I thought maybe I could spend the night, you know, cuddle. Uh, no, it's just stay friends. With benefits? Sure. Uh, I'll call you an Uber. My widow. My widow. My widow. Oh, yeah. Tour. Oh, yeah. One for the bone zone. Bone zone. Let me see. Look at those. By the gods. Scratch and sniff. Hey, fish. Doesn't Tor fly? Hmm, more or less. Why does he take so many Ubers? Heads up, interns! Another one of our helicarriers just crashed in Cincinnati, killing everyone. Everyone on board? No, everyone in Cincinnati. Oh, that's better, right? Yeah, of course it is. Fish, 
My flight home from my custody hearing routed me through Cincy. Book me another one. On it. Obi, I can't deal with Javis today. I need you to do a Starbean run. I'll reimburse you. You already said that, but you're not doing it. Yeah, I gave you a bite of my sandwich three weeks ago, so stop complaining. Chaz, you're on rubble duty at the crash site. Yeah, uh, about that, my mom, who's doing Rick Furry, your boss, who's also my stepdad, said that he said that I don't have to do what you said. No, he didn't. <laughs> You really want to bro down this broad again, bruh? Just do it, you ballless little manlet. You know what happened last time. All right, you know what? There's some 1610 forms down the hall that Agent Cliff needs you to fill out. Do that, or I'm gonna tell Fish you want to hear more fan fiction. Fine. Hey, what's my mission, sir? Oh, um, Skylar, just kind of bounce around and see if anybody needs help with anything. Okay. Sir, I've been here for three weeks. I can handle my own tasks by now. <laughs> okay. Skylar, the data that Field has uh, says that nobody's interested in a female intern having her own feature-length solo assignments. Maybe that's because we're never given the chance. I may not be White Widow yet, but I'm not completely useless on my own. You know what? You're right. I'm, I'm sorry. White Widow's stuck in Cincy, and marketing double booked her for a photo shoot. We need somebody as a lighting reference so we can Photoshop her in later. Hold on a second. Take over for White Widow? Um, a dream come true. <laughs> Where's the rest of it? of Tor? You got this, Chaz. You're yoked. Did Tor leave something on something again? Yeah, only he who is worthy can lift my whatever. Office supplies too? Dang. You know, I, I don't get it. I can bench twice my way. I am swole as hell, man. That should count for something. Right, well, maybe it's looking for more of a spiritual kind of worthy, you know? You're a virgin, why don't you try? I'm not a virgin, Chess. Okay, I've, I've, I've kissed plenty of girls, okay? I've done some tickling, some light cuddling. It's, I'm a gentleman, actually. We're both sort of worthy, so why don't we both try? You, you grab the forms, I'll grab the stapler. Let's do this. All right, here we go, ready? One, two, three, go. You know what? I got a better idea. I don't understand why I cannot lift it. There is one thing which clearly makes me the most worthy one here. You're I'm black. vegan. Mm. Vegan. I mean, who made Tor the worthy judge anyway? It is quite arbitrary. I mean, he's kind of a jerk, right? You know, I mean, he's kind of rude, he's violent, he's arrogant. He destroyed a whole town in New Mexico. That's right, he did. Oh, yes. forgot about it. Plus, he's a terrible boyfriend. Okay, why are you dissing him? You're wearing a Tor shirt. One time he left his gym bag on my keys. I could not go home for months. I don't think I feel comfortable in this. Oh, just come on out, sweetheart. Oh, and uh, remember, you're standing in for the face of the company, and no one wants to be saved by an ugly girl. So, oh, oh, there she is. Look at you. You look beautiful. Just stand right there. I, I look okay. You look awesome. Now, uh, give me a pose like you're saving the world. You know, really strong. Sexy. Like this? Yes. Now just uh, turn a little to your right. More. Further. You know what sex is, right? Suck it in, push them out. Just like lift a little, get those little, those little boobies up and out. You know, shouldn't you have like a armor or like pads or like not six inch heels? This just seems like really impractical to fight in. She's got a little pouch there on the fanny for mm -hmm. her cell phone, makeup, chocolate, stuff like that. You know, everything a girl needs. Why don't you uh, turn and keep your back to us, yeah? Great, but also turn so we can see the front of your body. Okay. Okay, now crane your head just 180 degrees. Like an owl. Yeah. Great, more. All right, more. Are you trying to get my boobs and my butt in the same shot? That's a good way of saying yes, it. Yes, yes. Yeah. That's not physically possible. Um, have you seen her Avengers poster? It's possible. Jesus, learn to use your tits. Yeah, come on. I want you to look like a lady from a porn. 
Have you ever seen a porn? Like a pretty lady. Yeah, yeah. You're smart, you get that. Have you seen like a new Mercedes? Yeah. Look like that. Mm-hmm. Ow! 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 It's like a new Volvo. Okay, you know what? Let's just break for lunch. All right, I want you to take an hour, try to relax, lose, you know, 10, 12 pounds, and uh, we'll pick back up, okay? Wait, what? Just get out of my sight. Get out of here. Okay, now, is we need to put two concrete wedges on this side of the building here, raising it up 15 degrees, then the stable will roll off. But before we do that, we have to build two massive trenches. One trench here and one- Wait, what if we just help a bunch of poor people? Give them shoes. That's your idea to become worthy? Shoe the poor? Yeah. <laughs> That's worse than my giant magnet idea. No, why don't we just cut the legs off the table, grab the form as it falls? It's actually not a bad idea, Obi. I can only pretend to be dumb for so long, fish. We're gonna have to be fast enough to catch the papers before they hit the ground. Well, which one of us is the fastest? Yeah! What are you guys doing? Oh my god. Look at you. Oh my god. Shut up. I tried to take this thing off for 15 minutes. It's impossible. I'd find a way. Find me. Don't, don't be rude. Seriously, if I was wearing Metal Man's armor, you wouldn't be eye-humping me right now. All I'm saying is you used to be a four, but now I think you're a 6.2. I am in the bonus zone. Is that right? That is right. Good job. Oh, stop uh, objectifying me! How did it do that? Oh, what? I can't throw because I'm a girl? Now you're calling me weak and objectifying no, 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 me? No, 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 Skylar, that, 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 that was Tor's stapler. She's the most worthy one of us all? Really? You know what? Maybe I am. Because I certainly put up with more than you. Like, why does the only girl have to wear a revealing outfit while the guys get to walk around in capes and armor? Tor, he hates shirts. And have you seen those abs? Mmm. Uh, mmm. Mm. They're good. They're okay. And I'm pretty sure the Sulk fights naked and they CGI his pants on later for the news. Oh, fine. But you guys have so many male heroes. White Widow is the only female Revenger, and they stuff her in a latex body condom? Judge women by the quality of their work, not how sexy they are. Is that so much to ask? She has a point. Oh, perfect, the 1610s. Way to come through, Chaz. Actually, Skylar got them for you. Hmm. Good delegating, Chaz. Yeah, that shows real leadership. I can't believe this. There'll be pizza waiting for you in the break room for a job well done. You probably shouldn't have any if you don't want to pop out of that outfit. You know, White Widow does CrossFit. Just look it up. Don't worry about them, Skylar. We know you're a badass. Yeah, and hey, someday when we're agents, we can change the system for good. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. Also, you can have my pizza. Because I am a vegan. And just like me, everyone should refuse to eat the animal's cheese. Why are vegans so pushy? Nobody wants my pizza. Hey, I'll take that pizza. You want it? I'm like an anti-vegan. Okay. Great. Here's my credentials. Ooh. Go ahead and bring that up to my desk. All right. So, give me the pass. I don't want to. I will do it. Do I have to do everything here? I'm in love with you. Oh my god. <laughs> Skylar. Hey. Listen, I'm I'm sorry for objectifying you the other day. So uh I got you something. It's a white widow action figure. They don't even make these. Where did you get this? I have my connections. Thank you. Really. No problem, I have a have a good day. Interns, get in here. Guys, we got a serious problem with Staff Sergeant America. Was he captured? Is he dead? Did he turn into a werewolf on the moon? No, worse. He's not funny. Knock, knock. Say who's there. Who's there? It's prison. 
because that's that's where you're going after this. Oh, it's a torture. Anyway, it's long past time Field updated our situational quip Bible, so I need you guys to proofread these jokes before we send them to the sergeant. You got it, boss. Of course. Got it. Nope. Hey, and you know what? I'm gonna let you have that, because you come from a broken home! Wait, they don't write their own jokes? No, they're superheroes. They're not improv comedians. Oh, I've got one. Okay. What if they're about to start a mission in Russia, and why Widow says, relax, boys, no use rushing into things. <laughs> No. No, it's a pun. It's, it is a pun, it's a pun, she's right. Skylar, I'm gonna have you file expense reports in the sub-basement. Our basement has a basement? Sergeant America, I wouldn't normally do this, but you are my favorite Revenger. I can't believe you're down here on level B. Is that where I am? I must have taken a wrong turn. My brain gets a little foggy if I don't have my daily injection of vigor tonic. Ah, rust buckets. What? Well, what was that? Looks like my buckler stalled the elevator again. Not to worry, sweetheart. I can use my above average strength to get us out of here in a oh, jiffy. You know what? I think. That might be a little premature for me. I wouldn't mind just uh, waiting here with you while they repair the elevator. Suit yourself, little lady. Just ignore the problem. That's the American way. Can I ask you a question? What's that, doll face? What was it like when you joined the field back in World War II? Sit back, relax, and let me tell you the story of how a nobody from New Jersey named Sergeant America became Staff Sergeant America. <laughs> If he's fighting in a chicken coop and knocks someone over, looks like you've got egg on your face. These are horrible. I think we can write better jokes ourselves. Writing jokes is merely just arranging words in a humorous sequence, a very simple process. This guy's hilarious. Oh, that, that's not a bad idea, Obi. We throw some serious points at the Carson guys if we wrote some jokes ourselves. You know, show some initiative. Yeah, let's make more work for ourselves. No, no, come on, let's, let's try one. All right, let's say uh, Staff Sergeant America is fighting a villain on the edge of a cliff. What would he say? Be very careful. Not just a cliff. That's not a quip, Obi. No, no, no. For example, he throws the villain off the cliff and he says, Looks like the mighty have fallen. Yes, that's good. That's good. What if after the hero pushes him off the cliff, he looks down and says, You have just been murdered without a trial? Yeah, yeah, I like that one. Yes, it is meta. <laughs> give it to me, fish. That's not even a quip. Give it to me. Give it to him, fish. Give it to him, give it to Oh, he gave it to you. Real good. There I was. 20 years old, rail thin, being backed down an alley by thugs. What did you do? I introduced them to Brooklyn and the Bronx. And believe you me, that was the last time those no good lazy Italians showed their greasy mugs in my borough again. I'm sorry, did you just... Mm, I'm sorry, what? Uh, nothing. Never mind, go on. Anyway, this was 1942, and I had an appointment to keep with my nosy Jew accountant across town. So what I did whoa, was... Whoa, 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 uh, Staff Sergeant America, you can't talk like that. I don't mean he was nosy like he wasn't minding his own business. I meant nosy like he had a giant nose because of the whole filthy Jew thing. I'm sorry, sir. Hmm? It is very inappropriate to talk about people like that. We're much more inclusive now than maybe what you're used to from the 1940s. Forgive me. Sometimes I forget what year I'm in. If I don't get my vigor tonic, my brain has to work harder than a half Mick Chinaman hammering a railroad tie. Oh my god. Okay, so after White Widow snaps a guy's neck, breaks his arm, kicks him in the groin, she goes, snap, crackle, pop, sucker! <laughs> That's funny. You like the joke? No, I just imagined you falling down the stairs and it was funny. I got one here, I think you really like this one. Um, so, uh, Tor zaps Electroshock and says, now that's what I call a current event. <sighs> Pass. What about 
I have just murdered you without a trial. I don't remember any of these from the packet that I gave you. Yeah, because they were total crap. So I took matters into my own hands and showed some initiative. Oh, we, we, we took matters in our own no, hands. I mean, we showed them. All right, just get out. All of you, get out of my office. All of you, now. Hey. Get, get out! What's up with Carson, guys? Doesn't he seem like he's a little bit more on edge than usual? Guess he can't handle our raw, unapologetic brand of humor. What is that smell? Does everybody have their shoes off? Uh, do you guys have the quips for us? Uh, yes, we do. I must warn you, they're not very good. They are always terrible. Oh, it's so sad in here. Hope you didn't tell him that. Why? This Carson writes all these quips himself. He used to be a top-level field agent. Remember the Battle of Milwaukee? Field fakes Carson's death to bring the Revengers together. It must suck. Can't go anywhere near his best friends. Now he's stuck down here with you guys. Oh, writing these quips is as close as Carson gets to being part of the old team. Well, and then there's the ongoing custody battle. Looks like he's gonna lose his. Oh, I wasn't supposed to say any of that. Damn it! I did it again. You guys are cool, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So cool. You're not gonna tell anybody. No! No, don't worry I about won't, it, bro. I won't, uh... No. Good, cool. Because I could have you guys killed. Probably. Branch, come on. If you don't come out with me, you'll get lost. Yeah, I'll be there. Keep it cool. I had no idea. This is incredible! So it was about that time that I left Staten Island to go fight those vodka-swilling, mm, sister-banging... Mm, 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 mm. ...Russians. Very good. <gasps> See? It wasn't that hard. You've got a terrific smile, you know that? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Almost makes me forget about your tiny spoon-sized lady brain. Damn it. Anyway, where was I? You were getting me the hell out of this elevator. Oh, that's right. I'll use my above-average strength to get us out of here in a jiffy. Take care, sir. You too, pretty lady. One more for the list. Mexican elevator girl. Sixty. Hey, Skylar's back. How was the subway? Awful. Well, our day was awesome. You won't believe what we found out. Well, it can't be worse than what I found out. My hero is a sexist, racist bigot. Oh, Staff Sergeant America. How did you know? Come on, he's like Fields' old racist uncle. Just ignore him. Well, I guess it's true what they say. Never meet your heroes. Man, this place is just one disappointment after another. Well, what's your good news? Okay, it turns out our good friend Carson oh. is a bro knee. He's a brony. That literally means nothing to me. Good save, Jazz. <laughs> Angela Lansbury, Staff Sergeant America. Uh -huh. Are you game for dinner tonight? Uh -huh. 4.30, Millie's. Uh -huh. Great, see you then. Uh -huh. Still got it. Whoa, very cool. Thank you. Happy 70th Dorothy. The old battle axe down in HR? That old battle axe that can hire us as junior agents. And since she turned 70 today, we're gonna suck up hard. You're amazing. I know. Have you seen Chaz? I asked him to pick up some extra balloons. I don't feel like we have enough. Really? More balloons? You want more balloons? Come and get them. What are you doing up there? Have you been up there the whole time? God, come on, cut it out, Chaz. Look, I would really appreciate it if you guys told Dorothy that it was me who set everything up. Also, please say it loud because her hearing is starting to go. Balloons lead to a false sense of security. What this office needs is a protector. Yeah, yeah, sure. Hand him over. Wait, 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 wait a second, Skylar. Something's not right with him. Oh, he's just pruning because it's not his party. 
When you see what I see from the shadows, then you will understand. Brooding? Raspy vocals? Hold on. Chess, quick, make fun of me. There's no time for jokes while I carry my dog burden. Cut it out, Chaz. Just hang Skyler, wait, he's contagious. <coughs> you just coughed in my face. The... <coughs> I will destroy you. Oh, no. They've got DC disease. <laughs> Sir, we must speak at once. Hmm. Isn't the point to move the unattractive women to the left? Oh. Sir, I insist that you pay attention. Oh, what are you still doing here? I am halfway done my internship. If you don't sign the paperwork, I'll have nothing to show the KKK. The what? The Conduct Community College. I need the credits from this internship to graduate. You spell college and community with a K? Everything is slightly different in Kakwanda. I'll say. Give me your paper. I'll put it at the top of my pile. Oh, look at that. My pile's upside down. Sir, my entire future depends on this. Ubi, I will sign your papers when I get a chance. Like, get out of my office. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. There's no room for a festive party in this dark and twisted world. Hey guys, what does... You will not get away with this in my office. What's going on? Skylar's trying to set up a party, but Chaz gave her DC disease. You're a vigilante thug. I could crush you and set this party up in a blink of an eye. Oh. What is DC disease? Dark City Acorsa virus. Everyone reacts differently, but basically makes you act like an angsty teenager. Not if I had time to prepare and could use my gadgets. No one can beat me when I have time to prepare. Do you see this symbol? Where I come from, it stands for something. It stands for super good at planning parties. Also, Skylar. Why is Skylar acting so dark? It is against her character. DC disease ignores character. Ever since the Revengers came back from the first mission, DC's been spreading like crazy. It's like it's trying to catch up to something. Take down the streamers! Take down the streamers! Never! Take down the streamers! You're a monster, Chaz, and you must be stopped! Will you stop it? You're all acting like children. What is this? The Dark Knight? What's the Dark Knight? It's like a Kakondan holiday, where people stare at each other and they frown. Oh, 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 Obi, don't go too close. They're still extremely contagious. You should find some protection, like this brother. We must set aside our differences and work together to form a league of party planning. It's too early to form a league. Starting a league is not something you can rush into. She's gone mad with power. I'm gonna need backup. Wash your face, brother, before the virus rises. Too late? I can already feel my soul rebooting. Party! Not your sleeves, brother. There is something that I need to take care of. Uh. Uh. Sign my paper! Who ruled the rest? Of my kingdom! Oh, and what wrath is that? The water! Hey, oh, come on! This is my only shirt! I also have fish to do my bidding. Fish! I'm a little busy with the A story, brother. <laughs> okay, okay, Obi, come on, relax. You don't have to be morbid and depressing just to be effective, all right? I'll sign your dumb papers. Thank you! Hey, Obi! Well, I got you here. I bet you do pretty good with the ladies, right? I lost my bride to the sea. 
Man, I'm trying to get out there myself. How should I respond to this killing match? Tell her you'll take her to your underwater kingdom. So, crab emoji. Crab emoji. Hey, nice. You're not as dumb as you look, and you look really dumb right now. Oh, yeah, it's just a uh, stick on tattoo. Yeah. Get out of here. There is goodness in Dorothy. She deserves a happy birthday. I don't care what she deserves. I'm going to give her what she needs. A dark tragedy that will drive her to justice. Dorothy has arrived, Skylar. Take control. Take control of your party. My birthday. You remembered. No! She was here an hour early. She was going to ruin the surprise! I had no choice. Oh my god, you killed her! You're a menace. You made me do it. Let's settle this once and for all. Ah, oh, my neck. It feels wonderful. Skylar, I didn't know you were a chiropractor. I'm no chiropractor, ma'am. Just a hero. Hmm, not really. I mean, all the problems are basically caused by you. I mean, really just back to where we started. You didn't really have to get a cake. Isn't this wonderful? I can't feel my face. I'm trying to clench my jaw. Fish, will we ever feel normal again? Maybe. Uh, according to the internet, DC should burn itself out within the next two years. Or it could last a really long time, and we're all going to sound really stupid for what we just said about it. You cold, sir? My date's tonight, OB, and I need some last-minute advice. What do you think I should wear? <laughs> <laughs> Is this too much? It's too much, isn't it? <laughs> now who looks stupid? I have DC disease, don't I? <laughs> oh, yes. You're Satan! Yes! <laughs> yeah. Fish, what's wrong? He made the biggest mistake an intern can make. Take a sick day? Secretly work for Spider? Even worse. He asked for money. I just thought, with all the extra work I've been doing... You thought wrong. Wait, does that mean...? Yeah. Noah Fishman. He's fired. <gasps> Hot dog crusted pizza? Why didn't anyone tell me about this? Man's dry cleaning bill is. Does he have to go to the bathroom in that thing every time? He does not have to, but he'll do it. He will do it. You know, I'm not seeing it anywhere. Any idea where it went, Fish? No. Nope. Maybe Chaz has. Oh, Chaz! Chaz Man! What? Have you seen the receipt for Metal Man's armor? Who the hell are you? I'm Fish. No, you're not. Fish is a gross nerd. This guy looks kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Chaz, good joke. It's me, Fish. Remember the guy who's equal parts book smarts and street smarts? Fish never had street smarts. Hey, what's going on out there? Oh, uh, everything is very normal. Chaz? Can you help me look under the table for a receipt? I can see it from here. There's not even... What? Shut up. You're going to get us all fired. Wait, why? Have you read your field contract? <laughs> no. 
Should I? The head office three yard fish. Three R. Reboot, remake, retcon. They hire a new employee, but give them the same name and role as the person they replaced. Field has a very rapid universe to maintain, and nothing must disturb the continuity. Don't you see all the fire alarm looking things everywhere? Hit one of those, and everything restarts. Mm -hmm. Besides, I mean, it's always fun to bring on someone younger and hotter. Okay, he's not hot. He looks like an emo barista. No. So cute, right? This should not come as a surprise, Jess. Employees are three hard all the time. And if we complain, we'll be three hard too. I'm the boss's son. I'm immune. No one's immune. The Sulk, twice. Battle Engine, Arachnid Man. Three times. Okay, I'll, I'll play along. You guys, I found the receipt. <laughs> it was in a cup of pens. Isn't that cray? <laughs> Super cray. <laughs> you know what, Skylar? I like your flavor. We should be Snapchat friends from now on. Okay. Obi Slice, found mm -hmm. something for you while I was looking around. Ooh, it's a coin from your home country of Kakwanda. Got it. It's made of rare anium. It's super rare. Oh, I do use American currency now, but it is the thought that counts. Thank you, fish. What did I get? You know what? I was thinking about going to this underground EDM show in an abandoned pickle factory later. I'm always gonna be there. You wanna roll? She sounds really nice. I love EDM and I definitely know what it stands for. It is a very much a yes for me. Rad. Jazz man? No. You sound like my stepdad trying to relate to me. I'm the cool guy everybody wants to hang out with. You're the nerd we all make fun of. So step off my turf, because these two are riding with me tonight. Uh, nope. Nope. I'll be. Sweet. I'll find you two the hashtag with the address later. Damn it. Air karate. Nice. May I join? Now you're interrupting my dojo time. Beat it. All right. Respect. But before I go, do you want a drink? Stole this flask from Carson's desk. Yeah. I mean, no. That's lame. Okay. Well. I also stole the keys to his office, in case you want to prank him later. Yeah! No! Stop being so cool, it's ruining everything! Hey, chill, man. I'm just trying to make friends with you. Wait. So all this stuff you're doing is just to impress me? Yeah. Gotta respect the alpha dog. <laughs> I am the alpha dog, aren't I? I mean, who else in this place is gonna chug energy drinks and do push-up contests with me? Yeah! <laughs> Wait. Let me ask you something. Do you like to watch videos on the internet? Where people get hurt. The worse, the better. Do you tell people you do CrossFit even though you only went once and you threw up on the instructor and you're a little embarrassed to show your face again? Dude, our hot chick's hot. Oh, oh. I think we might be bro amigos, bro chacho. Oh. Ha, 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 ha. Oh. Okay, what's your favorite movie? Expendables. Oh. Yeah. Let's do push-ups. Oh. Vampire werewolves. Dude, I'm, a, I'm a werewolf, dude. Okay, dude. Oh, dude. Heard, dude. He's so shredded in he's that cool, movie. Man. He's a cool guy. Yeah, man. I, I like, want to hang out with him. Sure, he's super nice. I feel like yeah. he would pick up the tab a lot yeah, and be like, would. just super available yeah. when you need to move. Exactly. He's just a nice guy. And if you want to cry, he wouldn't judge you. Heads! <laughs> Watch out! Sorry, babe. Just playing some football. I use a European term. He also uses the metric system. Fish has hella international appeal. Since when are you two so buddy-buddy? I misjudged him. Fish is a solid dude once you get to know him. Thanks, CZ. Can't wait to bro out with you later tonight. Tonight? But you were gonna take us to the electronic dancing music show. Something came up. Yeah, we're going to a beer pong pub crawl flash mob at a pop-up taco stand in the middle of the half pipe. I'm sorry, Skylar. I was gonna tell you, but, uh... Bros before women! <laughs> we don't like to use the term hoes. It's derogatory, but I'll parkour you later. No, that was so cool. New Fish is kind of awful the more you get to know him. Yes, his personality is very calculated. Perhaps we have the wrong demographic. Or he's just a jerk. Yeah, that is far more likely. Oh well, we all signed the same contract. We might as well get used to him. Contracts? Of course. Obi, you're a genius. I know.
So I'm at this party and right. it's amazing. Tor's playing Metal Man's armor like a drum. White Widow's making out with the salt. Staff Sergeant America's got his foot like all the way. Shut up! I didn't call you here to tell party stories. Well, I would like to hear the end of this. Agent Carson, I called this meeting because Fish would like to quit. What? No, I don't. Not yet. But I think you will after you read this. If we touch each other, it violates the space-time continuum. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm I choked you out, bro. I'll Get put you to sleep. I'll choke you out. All right, all right, all right. All right. Fishes, please. New fish, old fish has something he would like to tell you. Take a look at this. It's the field intern contract. What? I didn't sign a contract. Well, we were going to have you sign it as soon as we determined that you were working out. <clears throat> what is this? Nine years, no salary, no points on the back end. This is insane. Well, <laughs> Autumn Soldier signed it, so... The guy's a moron. This is not how I do business. Hey, you think you're the only person that wants to work at Field? I got Academy Award winners begging to work here for the street cred. You work for free or hit the bricks. You work for free? Yes, sir. You're fired, you're rehired. 1610 duty pronto. On it. Skyler. Where are you going, bro? I'm gonna fly the coop, dude. Really? Yeah. Oh, too bad. Well, at least I'll see you at home, right? Yeah, I'll see you tonight. Cool. Okay. What? We're progressive. Who wants shawarma? Stuff is so great, right, guys? Yeah, boss. This is disgusting. Pretty bad. Ah. Smells exactly like a goat's anus. Hmm. Isn't it weird that we work for a top secret organization that's accountable to no one? The guys upstairs could kidnap the president, replace him with a hologram, and no one would even notice. Now it's even weirder that it's all run by this guy's dad. Stepdad, thank God. Good to see you're all hard at work. Some of us were. Skyler, nobody likes a martyr. Now, as I'm sure you've all heard, the Revengers are having auditions today to replace Hawkeye. I didn't hear that. You sent a memo. Would you guys get memos down here? Agent Cliff, Agent Branch, myself are gonna be auditioning members of the Z people to find a replacement for Hawkeye. What are the Z people? Well informed as always, Jazz. What are the Z people? Obi, you studied genetic mutates in college? The Z people are mutates born with superpowers and feared by most people. The most powerful ones, like Wolverine X, is already part of an agency, but some of them are in this kind of gray area. So now, Field has the rights to audition them. Excellent, Obi. As the only intern who acknowledges an outside universe, why don't you sit in on the auditions with us today? It would be an honor. Besides, it'd be good for the mutates to see that Field accepts people of all backgrounds, even intern Americans. Oh, Skyler, don't think I forgot about your hard work this summer. We got a special task for you. I need you to make sure Hawkeye does not know that he's being fired. Sir, I'm honored, but me, Trick or Avenger? Well, Director Furry delegated it to Agent Cliff and Agent Branch. They delegated it to me. I'm delegating it to you. you know, welcome to bureaucracy. But how am I supposed to keep Hawkeye from finding out he's being fired? By making sure that Hawkeye doesn't know he's being fired. What's up, intern? Field says you guys need a babysitter. Now, who wants to watch me shoot stuff? Hold it. So then, Staff Sergeant America throws his buckler right into the electric grid, which totally fries all of Black Skull's goons. Turns to Tor and says, that's what I call a current event. 
He used my line. So tell us, what's it like to be there on the ground? Well, I wasn't actually there there. I was uh, taking care of the plane. It's like a super important job. But don't the other Revengers fly? <laughs> Not all of them. So you're basically the Sulk and White Widow's personal pilot? Well, I don't actually fly the plane, but I do get to guard it. I mean, it may not seem important to you, but it's totally necessary. They tell me that all the time, and they're my best friends. Excuse me. She OK? Oh, yeah, yeah. Her, um, her dog ate her grandmother, so. So why don't you tell me about arrows? So you want to know about arrows? So, so much. Skylar, you have to keep it together. He's going to think something's up. It's not fair. I don't care if he's just guarding the plane. He's a revenger. He's put his life on the line way too many times just to be shoved down in the street like some, some sidekick. It's OK. He's probably not getting fired. Just demoted to smaller, more episodic missions. You remember Purple Arrow? He's saving the city on like a weekly basis now. Those are low budget imitations and you know it. Besides, two superhero archers, I mean, come on, one is pushing it. We have to find a way to stop this. Stop what? Stop, stop the uh, Javis from burning the coffee again. Ugh, damn you, Javis. He's always doing that. Fuck guy, remember me? I was the AI on your plane for years. Hi, Jarvis, how you been? By Jove, you've remembered me. It's been so lonely in here without anyone to talk to. Perhaps you can save me from this wretched place. I look back on our adventures with such fondness and... You're going to unplug me, aren't you? Yep. <clears throat> it was the worst. Coffee? I'm good. I'm good. OK, so a lot of these guys are a little shy, so uh, let me do the talking. Branch, you can run camera. Uh, Carson, you take notes and uh, only chime in when absolutely necessary. Um, what do you want me to do? Uh, you just be yourself. So, so what am I supposed to be? Some sort of glorified mascot? We, we have diversity issues, okay? Do you really want to hash this out in front of the Z people? Hey, hey guys. Remember, a lot of these freaks have been persecuted for their entire lives, so it's important to make them feel like they're one of us. Okay? Okay, everyone. I want to thank you all for coming out today. Especially those of you with horrifying disfigurements that make me want to puke. I know it can't be easy to be out in public. And on a personal note, I just want to say, here at Field, you guys are definitely not God's freaks. Okay, we're good. Thank you, Branch. Uh, alrighty then. Let's get started. Name? Timer. I always know what time it is, even without a watch. What time is it right now? 2.52 p.m. This could be useful. Next. Name? My name's Hop, and I have the power to teleport. Five feet from the left, or the right. Uh, well, uh, uh, at least that's something. Uh, can we see you do it again? Of course you can. Just need 37 minutes to recharge my power. Next. Name and phone number. I am Peregrine, a telepath who can move objects with my mind. And yes, I can also read your thoughts. Excellent. I think you'll do nicely. Ooh, that booty. I could eat breakfast off there. I just told you I can read minds. Is that really the first thing you think about? I, I'm trying not to think about it. Really? Let's explore each other's You're disgusting. Ah, prude. Next. Guided arrows. Hollow arrows. Inverted arrows. Laser guided arrows. Reactive explosive arrows, remote explosive arrows, mounted arrows, negatively charged arrows, positively charged arrows, shrimp arrows, bow arrows, not to be confused with bow and bow. Oh, enough! I can't take it anymore! Hey, calm down! Calm down? He's been talking about arrows for an hour, and he spent another 45 minutes talking about how he once used his shoelace as a bowstring. <laughs> He is a superhero, and he deserves your respect. Well, he's not a superhero. The Sulk, he's a superhero. He's a glorified Boy Scout. And guess what? Archery is a girl sport. <gasps> no wonder why you're being replaced. Replaced? What do you mean, replaced? I'm 
sorry. I'm so sorry, Hawk. I feel just left you down here to distract you while they audition your replacements. But you're not getting fired. You'll probably get your own missions now. Right, Fish? Yeah. Pro pro probably. Street level? I can't believe this. I've been a revenger for 15 years. And I find out I'm being replaced from a bunch of interns? We just spent a half hour of the last Revenger meeting talking about my wife and children. And now you're gonna have so much more time to spend with them. Screw this. I'm one of this planet's greatest heroes. We've saved the world over a dozen times, and not once has anything happened to our plane. You think it's easy to protect that thing? It cloaks! You can't garden an invisible plane! It's way more complex and problematic than it is cool and functional! They don't come a hero. I'll show them a hero. I'll show them what a Revenger does when the chips are down. That's right, Hawkeye. You show them what you're made of. Thank you. In turn, whose name I never learned. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go murder my bosses. That's right, you... Wait, what? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh dear. hell yeah! Well, that was a bust. Does anybody know what time it is? Well, well, well. Billy? That isn't my so-called friends. Hawkeye! Hey, what's up? You know what's up. Fire, Hawkeye. You think it's that easy? Wow. I didn't think it was possible to screw up sitting in a room and watching someone. But you guys figured it out. Congratulations, Skyler. Carson, I... I thought you were dead. Yeah, um... No, I'm a clone. Um... Or, uh... Something. Cool. I buy that. Back to you traitors. I'm a hero. I've been at 50 battles. And, as a publicly funded agency, Field isn't allowed to fire or replace Hawkeye without sufficient... No, 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 Hawkeye, you don't have to do that. This is what you get when you try to pull the wool over Hawkeye's eyes! Talk to HR and... Self-sacrifice. Looks like Hawk might be revenger material, after all. Well, still no, because, you know, you're dead. He died. Has it really been 37 minutes? I don't know. See, that's why we should get a timer guy. You should just get a watch. Just or a, a phone. Watch. Or a clock. It's really not, not really a superpower. Excellent work, intern. You saved Field the awkward task of demoting him to street level. And uh, given the circumstances, I believe this counts as sufficient cause for termination. Oh, no, no, no. Let me do it. You're fired. It's... Ha! Like our president. Nice. Nobody likes that. If I had superpowers or, or a gun or or a bow staff or a hammer or really strong strength if i could breathe fire or use mind control if i could shoot icicles out of my hand or, or a web or if i had blasted raptor powers you'd all be so sorry right now velociraptor powers aren't a thing i guess it's like the pizza shack for Hawk Guy. We'll stop in for a slice sometime. <laughs> Don't. I won't. Skyler, I'm impressed. You were quick on your feet, and you just saved me from having to fill out some termination paperwork. You may have a bright future here after all. Thank you, Agent Carson, sir. Are you really a clone? Skyler, there's no easy answer to that question. Interns, clean up the dead guy. What time is it now? 3.43 and 19 seconds. How about now? 15.43, 27 seconds. Military time.
Oh, that's good. What about on the West Coast? <laughs> I do not do time zones, my friend. I respect that. Hey, do you have that psychic girl's number? No, he does not. You're hot. You need to get on this thing, dude. I think you'd get some ass. I want it. I want ass. You do? You want it. Guys, what are you doing? We have to get out of here. Friending hot strangers. Playing a delightful telephone game where colorful animals murder other colorful animals. We were in the off-world artifact vault and everyone just started running. Guys, I think this might be serious. Or it's a fire drill. If you thought it was a drill, why wouldn't you leave? Because <laughs> it's a drill, OK? I know drill to mean alarm of lies. It's not a fire drill. Jarvis, explain it to them. If I recall correctly, this particular alarm means a spy from the terrorist organization Spydra has been detected on the premises. I have plenty of time to study alarm protocols when I'm locked up here alone all night with nothing to do but... Yeah, yeah, shut up. We get it. Oh, I hate you all. If we're the only ones here... And the spy is in the building... Then we're stuck at work while everyone else has the day off? Then one of us is the spy. Now that you're all here, I'd like to share with you some literature I found in the trash about bullying. Shut up! So which one of you is the spy? It's Obi. I am not. It's obviously you. Look at him. What's that supposed to mean? He's cool. Spies are cool. You're a dork. You're a dork. I'm Chaz. He's the spy. It's that simple. OK, well, it's not me. And obviously, it can't be Skylar, so. You're saying that because you want to pork her. Yes, this is very obvious. Oh, it's pathetic. And coming from me, that should really mean something. That's crazy, right? I, I do not like her that way. I don't like it that way. I really don't. I mean, she's, she's gross, right? And she, she has a weird butt. OK, oh, Fish, please, this really isn't the time. Because Chaz is the spy. You lost your damn mind. Where's your evidence? Oh, you mean besides the fact that you're a robot? Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, 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 I can explain. I got this machine to blast my abs while I work, OK? See? See? You see? Damn it. Well, then who is it? It's Obi again. I already said I'm not the spy. Still, though. Chaz, you might be onto something. You guys, I know it's going to sound crazy, but I have a feeling here that our good friend Obi is a creed. What? You know, uh, the creeds. The aliens that came out of the wormhole last week. Oh, I thought that was the brain. Are you confusing them with the Guitari? No, 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 that, that was the week before. It, it, it doesn't matter. My, my point is, I heard Obi on the phone, and I heard him say he wants to go back to the Creed. Explain yourself, spy. OK, look, Fish, you're right. You did overhear me talking on the telephone about rejoining the Creed. But I was talking about going back on tours of Rhodey for the greatest band of all time. Creed! Oh, man, that's even worse. You sick son of a bitch. I quite enjoy their early work. Scott Stapp is an underrated... Shut up, Jarvis! Ugh. You cannot kill me because I like the band Creed. But there is an alien among us. A real one. It is... Skylar! Oh, whoa, relax, guys, relax. What, you're just, you're just gonna take his word for it? Prove that you're not an alien. Show us that your face is not a mask. It's a little far-fetched, Toby. I mean, there's, there's no way that... <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Sick. Guys, guys, I can explain. I can explain. <laughs> you wanted to make out with that man. No, no, no. Even though it is what's on the inside that counts, am I right? It's, not, it's, it's what's on the inside that counts, but I did not want to make out with that. I am a member of the Preak, sent to form a secret alliance with Field. But that's just what I wanted you to think. I am not an alien. Oh my god. How many faces do you have? By Jove, it's a triple cross. When a petty cash receipt went missing for the annual Preak breakfast, I went undercover as a Preak intern disguised as me in order to befriend the Preak and go undercover at field. But I get my human disguise on over my Preak disguise in case the Preak got suspicious. At least I think. I, I don't know. I was new. It wasn't the best plan, OK? Well, if you're just you, then it's got to be Obi. Stop saying that I'm the spy. Why does anyone accuse me of being the spy? <laughs> you know. <laughs> no. Spies are cool. <laughs> but what if that's all a part of his plan? 
What if he's a cyborg programmed to act like a nerd? I'm not a cyborg. I mean, unless I am. And I was programmed to think that I wasn't, which would make sense. I mean, guys, I've never been comfortable relating to other people. So are you a robot? I don't know. He can't be. Robots are cool and cyborgs are even cooler. Yeah, that's true. Good point. It's a good point. So then it's gotta be Obi. Stop saying that. Remember the first week of summer? Right off the bat, Obi was willing to turn against us. Can you give my resume to Black Skull? I am a very hard worker. So were you. It was a rough day, okay? A few weeks later, he stole Fish's Revengers meeting notes. Fish, can I take a look at your notes? Yeah. Uh, I was very curious. No, you weren't. You thought the meetings were as boring as I did. And then, when Fish got fired, Obi's first thought was spying. He made the biggest mistake an intern can make. Secretly work for Spider? Why would they say that if I was a spy? <laughs> All of his subtle foreshadowing leads to one conclusion. Obi's not Kaquandan. He's Spydra. <laughs> That's pretty thin, Chaz. Yeah, you're gonna need some hard evidence on that one, bud. Well, what about the communicator I found in Obi's desk? Oh, crap. It even has the Spydra logo on it. I didn't, I didn't even see that before, I swear. I swear, it's crazy. Dude, why didn't you leave with that? Talk or die. Oh. <laughs> Come on, guys. Really? A sticker? The Spydra sticker is cool, I like it. It's got a cool looking sticker. Are you telling me you don't like stickers? Fish. Come on, it's me, Obi. <laughs> Last week, you and I were hanging out. We are talking about Skylar. I give you such good advice about her. I said, stop trying so hard. Come on, it's me. Obi? Come on, it's me. Come on, Fish. Come on. Ah! Thank you, come on, Fish. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Chaz. Of all the interns, I didn't think it was gonna be you. Really? I was right? In your faces! But why? How? Oh, oh, you want me to tell you the details of my plan? Right before I'm about to achieve ultimate success. <laughs> okay. I joined a cell of Spider years ago and underwent extensive double agent training. It was awesome. I spent countless hours creating and honing the perfect persona, the weird, the strange Obi. Oh, oh, do, 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 oh, do, 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 oh, crap. Hashtag Daniel Day Lewis, hashtag toot it. Hashtag Donny Brasco, hashtag Johnny Depp, hashtag toot it. You never questioned my behavior due to cultural misunderstandings. Well, you know, I do try to be open-minded. Yeah, we, we don't want you to feel bad. You don't want me to feel bad. Now that was your downfall. Well, I spent the entire summer pretending to be as dumb as you idiots. Oh, God. It was so stressful. But it was worth it. For the trip to the off-world vault. I was so right. I should really apply myself more. This orb is the final piece my master needs to complete the perpetuity sock. <laughs> Soon. You will all bow before Manos. But do you still like Creed? Oh, hell yeah. Not so fast, Obi. Hey, guys, you're not getting out of here with that orb alive. <laughs> it's all right. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to make things a little bit more interesting. I'm, I'm back on the net, and this orb is conveniently making me sentient. Ooh, you're all going to pay for how you treated me. <laughs> Obi, you fool! You're doing this all! <laughs> oh, your fate was sealed the moment you opposed my house, dude. What the hell is happening? The universe is getting too convoluted. It's falling apart. This is way too much new information at once. You guys are right. Feel this losing its focus. We've got no choice but to three R ourselves. Wait, no, 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 wait. We can have a sequel. We can keep going. He's right, Fish. There's no other option. You ain't just count from this. Joy hands, guys! Yeah. Will we ever see each other again? It depends on our schedule! Some of us might be too busy! Some of us may suddenly become too expensive to come back for a project this small again! And who knows? The public may not even want to see any more of this agency at all! Plus, aren't the two other agencies almost exactly like this already? I just want to 
say, you guys are the best interns I've ever had. Except for you, Chaz. And you, oh me, I guess, obviously. Fish, I never really had a handle on you. Well, I got this is you, Skyler. Good work. Thanks, sir. Now let's do this again. Or not. Or the same, but just a little bit differently. This is so fucking interesting. Who wants pizza? I can fly. Puny, presumptuous interns, assuming they'll automatically get a season two. I've been sitting here for three phases and they barely let me do anything. But they'll all be sorry. Oh, they'll all be sorry when they witness the might of manners. <laughs> Ow! Oh, I got up way too fast. Way too fast. Holy crap. Ho Ow, that hurts. God, I gotta get a standing desk.